My experience with the Fold 4 as a first timer has been very astonishing. The first impressions video is live on the channel. If you want to watch it, tap on the i button. This is the review video of the Samsung Z Fold 4 in 2024. Should you buy it? Can the Z Fold 4 replace my iPad? Watch this video and you will get the answers to these questions. Hey guys, you are watching TechNut, so let's get started. I got the Z4 Fold to review it because when Samsung launched it in August 2022, they showcased it as a productivity device. A smartphone that unfolds to a 7.6 inch huge display which gives us a tablet like experience while still being able to fold up and fit in your pocket comfortably. This feels like an innovation and a direct competitor to my iPad. Although the build quality feels solid, the hinges and the nanoplastic display should be used with care and not like normal smartphones. The one I have is in beige and 512GB storage variant. I love how the color, the matte glass back and the camera module gives this device a very premium look. The stainless steel sides are shiny and not to my taste, but the fingerprints are not visible. The phone doesn't feel bulky or heavy to me. You can easily carry it in your jeans pocket as your daily driver. I have two phones so it does add bulk to my jeans for sure. It looks like a big bulge in my pocket. The cover screen is a 6.2 inch 120Hz display. The colors are crisp and vibrant and the display is visible even in direct sunlight. But the display could have been a little wider which could change its aspect ratio to normal smartphone so that it could help do most of the work on the cover screen itself. I have used the main screen to do most of my work on it because it is comfortable. The main screen is a 7.6 inch foldable dynamic AMOLED 2X 120Hz display. It supports HDR10 Plus and has 1200 nits of peak brightness. It has a 90.9% of screen to body ratio. This display is perfectly visible in direct sunlight and so is the crease. I have literally enjoyed the content on the Z Fold 4's main screen, but the crease at times didn't allow me to. The crease is actually very visible when there's light reflecting on the display. This is something that has bothered me at times. Not a deal breaker though. The under display camera on the main screen does try to hide itself but is visible all the time because the pixels on that part light up a little differently. The touch feels smooth, fast and accurate on both the cover screen as well as the main screen. YouTube app gives desktop like experience on the main screen which is what I like the most. The YouTube experience is the same as on my iPad. The Fold 4 has IPX8 ingress protection which means the device can survive against water splashes but no dust resistance. The hinges are tight as they should be. Opening and closing it feels classy. One thing I've noticed is that we can open something on the cover screen and continue it on the main screen. But it isn't the other way around. The phone locks itself when I try to do it. The fold doesn't close fully. We can see through the gap. At the heart of the Z Fold 4 is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 from 2022 paired with 12GB of RAM. The processor is very powerful in terms of performance. Day-to-day -day tasks are smooth and fast. The app opening speeds on the Z Fold 4 are really quick. In fact, I did the BJMI opening speed test between the Fold and my iPad Air 4. Guess who won? The Z Fold Fold did. I am impressed by Samsung. This device supports BGMI at 90 FPS. And boy oh boy, I have really enjoyed gaming on the Z Fold 4. The aspect ratio does provide us with an advantage. It is very similar to playing on an iPad. I had to tweak my controls though. Heat management on this is astounding. The device was warm but I could easily hold and continue gaming for hours. Also the performance is noteworthy and top notch as I did not see any frame drops or lags. Apple should adapt and learn heat management from Samsung. Apps are very well optimized for the main screen and work perfectly. The Fold even has an Instagram app optimized for the main screen but the iPad still doesn't have it. What a shame. The Samsung Z Fold 4 is a 5G handset and can accommodate two physical nano SIM cards. The latter thing is really great. Call quality and network reception on this are up to the mark. I have my Airtel 5G SIM installed in it. The sound quality from the earpiece is really good. I haven't faced any call drops or voice cuts on the Z Fold 4. But the network reception could have been better. The Z Fold 4 loses network signals in my elevator whereas iPhone 14 Plus and the OnePlus 12 do not. The reviews of both are up on my channel. You can watch them. I have linked them in the i button and the video description. Wi-Fi and mobile data speeds are impressive. If you are new to the channel, please use the two tabs that is like and subscribe for more tech content. The Z Fold 4 has a fingerprint scanner embedded in the power button itself. And as it is a physical sensor, it is really fast and secure. I prefer these over the optical sensors. The hinge of the Samsung Z Fold 4 can stop at most angles which helps make the flex mode possible. 
flex mode is activated when the Z Fold is folded at 90 degrees, basically like a laptop. The upper half screen is taken up by the app and the lower screen has the audio video controls. This mode is very useful when I am sitting at a desk and don't want to tilt my head but still use my phone. The battery inside of the Z Fold 4 is 4400mAh, which feels sufficient to me. Even the Fold 5 has the same battery capacity. It took me easily through the day with heavy and main screen usage. I enjoyed playing BGMI, consuming content, scrolling social media, replying to messages, some calls, listening to music, etc. The battery is good on the Fold 4. Overnight battery drain was 5-6% to with AOD always on. I charged the device with my iPad's 20W adapter and it was fully charged in approximately 80 minutes. The Z Fold 4 supports wireless power sharing which can come in handy in emergencies when you have multiple devices. The camera setup on this is 50, plus 10, plus 12 megapixels, wide, telephoto and ultra wide respectively. The colors are accurate and do feel lively, but the details are not very high but adequate. It tends to sometimes soften and over brighten the skin tones. As the sensors capture enough light, the nighttime photos are bright enough. The cameras support 4K at 60fps and 8K at 24fps video recording. Video quality is good but it does soften the skin tones at times. The 8K footage is sharp and has better details than the 4K, but jittery and not of use. The Z4 Fold has two front cameras, one on the cover screen and other on the main screen, which are 10 megapixel and 4 megapixel respectively. The under display camera on the main screen looks foggy and is useless. The 10 megapixel is good enough for video calls and occasional selfies. You can capture great selfies from the rear cameras by using the cover screen as a viewfinder. All in all, the cameras are good for the price range and the form factor. Typing on the main screen feels great and the haptics add to the user experience. Samsung's One UI is a feature-rich skin on top of Android. The multi-window support is phenomenal on the Z Fold 4. It utilizes the whole main screen. I am a fan of the multi-window support on this device. One thing that I disliked was the ads on the Fold 4. It was constantly shoving Samsung Z Fold 4 cases ads in my face while scrolling Instagram even though I hadn't searched for it. Yes, the Z Fold 4 is a perfect mixture of productivity and entertainment. Before I give my verdict, I want to thank Heman Bai from Majestic Mobiles for making this video possible. They deal in all types of smartphones and smartwatches, new and used. I have been buying from them for 5 years now and I have always got the best deals. I have given their Instagram link in the description, go follow them and DM your requirements if any. But can the Z Fold 4 replace my iPad? Certainly not. The reasons being that the iPad screen is huge and durable, Apple Pencil support, my video editing software which I have bought on the App Store, bigger battery than the Fold, AirDrop and other Apple ecosystem advantages. I am surely looking forward to getting a Fold as my secondary device in the future. The Fold definitely has on the spot between a smartphone and a tablet. A used Samsung Z Fold 4 will cost you around Rs 55,000 to Rs 70,000 depending upon the condition and the storage variant you want. You can surely buy the Z Fold 4 in 2024. It is a great device, so make sure you buy from a trustworthy retailer. You also must not be a clumsy person because the folds are delicate. So here I end my video, this was my perspective on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Drop your queries in the comments below and the relevant ones will be answered. If you have any tech queries, follow and DM me on Instagram, I am happy to help. Instagram link in the description. See you guys in the next one. Tech Nutso, signing off.